right, welcome back. We are next going to go into Amateria. All right, come on game, show show them, there we go. Ooh, somebody bumped the camera while I was gone, it looks like. There we go, okay. The, the notebook camera looked a little off to me. Maybe it was off before. All right, so next place we're going to go is to another world. So the elevator's down. You gotta have the elevator down to get to this one because you're walking across here and you're gonna unlock this door. So remember we saw this door before, but we couldn't we couldn't get through it because we couldn't get to the lock. I got a little bit sunburned. It's on, only on my forehead and my nose. Oh no, oh no. I hope it doesn't peel. That would be an annoying place. I'm so sorry, Koneko. Okay, so we're gonna come through this way and we're gonna come back down here. So that was the locked door before. And we're gonna come on over to this tusk right here with the, the new word that I learned that I already forgot. Okay, so we're gonna come down here. And if you try to go down this hole, you'll notice that you kind of can't. There's a big old, there's a big old rolly ball blocking your way. So we need to move the rolly ball. A cartouche, that's right, it's the, the cartouche. Okay, so if you come down here, you can see there's these, there's these levers where we can make the ball roll around. So let's mess with these. Okay, so it's rolled back now, um, but then we need to get the, the ladder back up because now there's a gap. Oh, I don't think I did that right. Maybe this one? This one? Yeah, there we go. And then this one. Okay, so now the ball is out of our way, and we can actually go down. There you are. Okay, so now we can go this way, and we can open this up. And here's another one of Saavedro's um, things that he did to sabotage. He, he broke the floor. He, he exploded the floor, so we cannot get down. Um, to the, to the little guy to, to do the code for the book. Okay, so what do we do? We go back up here and we go back down here. We are gonna use that giant rolling ball to our advantage. be this yeah oh wrong way I about, I'm about to do it wrong again. No, Karen, you do this one first. There we go. Okay. So, that was a good sound. Big crash. And then we put the ladder back there so that we can get in. And Ball is now floor for us. Thank you very much, Ball. Okay, so now for this one, we have to do the puzzle again. So I think the combo for this one is that one goes here. Uh, the second one is here. The third one is down here. And the fourth one is here. Yeah, Florb. Is that right? That's not right. Okay. That's this guy. Is it here in between? No. Is it because of this? There we go. Got it. All right, and this world is called Amateria. So this is where we are going next. New world, okay. So this is the next world that we're gonna go to and we're just gonna proceed straight along here. Just like Adana, 
Amateria, you can get back to Jananin very quickly. Here's a Jananin linking book right here at the start. You don't really have to figure out anything to get to it. Very simple. All right, so what we're going to do is kind of keep proceeding around this circle. Um, <clears throat> go this way. Come on. Go. Just kind of keep going. All right, and you'll eventually come to this elevator right here. We're gonna take this elevator up. All right, so here you see this this chute here and, um, and a ball. And if we zoom in on this ball, you'll see it's a quarter crystal and it's three woods. So that's what you can see. And remember, we wrote down Four wood equals one like glass or crystal, really. It looks more like crystal here, right? And then four of the crystal equals an iron, okay? So that's important to know because you're going to use those formulas. So let's ride the elevator back down. Oh, wait. There was pages. I'm so glad I wrote down where all the different Savager's pages are so we don't miss any of them. I forgot. I forgot to look forgot to look here right here there we go let's read some more pages my attempts to produce a carnivorous hybrid have limited success i thought i was making greater progress but the life that grows in the forest isn't like the plants on narayan it's much more tenacious less susceptible to grafts perhaps if i try mixing in species from the swamp okay so he talks about things that he's doing to try to mess with adana and make it not work as well so very interesting, very interesting. Some more of his sabotages. All right, so then we want to get out the elevator, hello. And then we're gonna come here along this wooden walkway. And then we've got some very interesting piece of machinery. This looks kind of similar to a drawing that Savedro had given us. So very interesting. And if we continue around, we've got a little house here. We've got a little house and um, we've got some weights. Okay, so you can see it's already half wood and you can see some of this is smashed up. So some of the crystal and it looks like maybe one of the iron was smashed up and we need to make a counterweight to the ball that we saw earlier. So, um, so here we go. This is basically what we want to do. So here it's going to be, um, I think it's an iron. Let me see. I'm pretty sure an iron goes in here. I'm just checking my notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, it is iron. I was trying to figure out if the third one was iron or crystal. So you do two woods and one iron and you leave a piece blank because you can't make it any other way because there's not, there's not like the right number. So you have to leave one blank. So that's how you can fix it even though Savedro came and messed around with that puzzle. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride this up And we've got these levers here, so you can click on these to make it go to certain areas. So this, it's the gear is in the middle. If you do this one, the gear is going to go all the way to the left. All right. And this was in Savedro's journal that he showed us. So if we do, if we did the counterweight properly and we put the gear all the way to the left, this should work. So let's see if it does. And there we go. It worked. If it doesn't work, that crystal ball smashes. Uh, but it does. So then it closes and we get a little video. Okay, there's some levers that lifts up a bridge. And we have this hex pattern. Okay, so we have this hex pattern that looks like this. We're writing that down. So this is hex pattern number one, and it's got like this yellow-orange color. 
So it's yellow. Okay. All right. Let's write it back down. All right, so we're back where we were in the circle. So let's proceed now past the elevator and come through here. So we've got like these beautiful, some of these beautiful crystals, obviously where um, Atris mined that from. We've got a ladder right here, but I wanna show you first another painting, okay? So in this painting, we've got the faces of Cirrus and Akinar, and they are so angry and laughing and then all of the people are mad at Saavedra. So remember what we learned, how Saavedra was the one that welcomed Atris in and encouraged everyone to trust him. So now all of the people are very mad. You can totally see why Saavedra would be the one to follow Cirrus and Akinar to try to figure out what the heck to do to fix it. Because they had abandoned their traditions at the behest of Cirrus and Akinar. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk up here for the next puzzle. And there's some more pages. All right. Focus, Saavedro. You must not let the fog come and swallow you. There are long spells, I think, days, maybe months at a time, when I can't remember what I've done. The fog rolls so thick around me. Even if I hold my hand in front of my eyes, I barely see it. I strain and strain and strain, but nothing sticks. I think, I think his sons came to visit us twice on Narayan. The first time, Atris asked me to meet them. He told me they would come through the book. He said, they will not understand how your world fits together, but they will, but they will use them to open the shield. Narayan, he says, is where your lessons come together. Narayan is the sum of what they must learn. I remember Tomorrow was carving a spirit mask into the tree the day the boys arrive. She tugs my sleeve to get attention, points at the guide ship in the sky. I'm shocked by how young the boys appear. They look so much like their father, yet they're different somehow, too. They're more impatient, and they're angry not to be treated like men. I take them to our home. I tell them I will teach them how to care for it. I say, together we will encourage the lattice tree to grow tall. They ask me why they have to work so hard. They tell me, no, Saavedro, that was later. That was after Atris took them away. You know this because when you see them saying these things, they're older. Their faces have become angled and hard. They've grown up into men and something dark is in their eyes. They tell you they've come back to fix Narayan. So the second visit that the boys do, Atris doesn't know about it. He doesn't understand what's happening. All right, so we're gonna ride this elevator up and let's check out this puzzle. Okay, so we've got kind of this swirly contraption in this one, two, three, four, five around the center. So let's pull the handle and see what it is. We're much closer to where the balls come out now. We can see that happening. Okay, so the ball is destroyed and you can see these lights flickering. There's this one. And then there's the next, the middle one. Okay, so like they're clicking on and off. The lights are clicking on and off on each of these. And we need to match that with how the ball flows through. So let's go back down. All right, and let's go around. And here we go. Now we can see it up close. All right, so the way that the ball flowed through is it first came to this one. So we need this middle one to be in first position. So that's going to be right here. This is the first position. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that should be the first position. Okay. 
Okay, and then the second one is the far left one over here. Like that. I hate walking when you first step off and you walk like into the little force field and it's like, uh, it's like so uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so then um, the right one here is in the third position. Like that? Like what the heck? Rattle in my brain. Okay, um, and then the left one, so that's back. That's the middle. This one. This one is in the fourth position. Okay, one more. So this last one. Oh, not that way. Just kidding. This one. This one's in the fifth position. All right. So now we're gonna go back, down, and around, and let's try it again, see if we did it right. Back up the elevator. Now this world, as we're going through it, it's not as much my favorite. Like, I don't love it the way I love Adana, but the ending of this world is fantastic. Okay, let's do it. See if we did this puzzle right. All right, made it through. Made it through. Made it through, that's right. Yep, that's right. And that's right. And, and the ball doesn't die this time. The ball doesn't die. Okay, so we did it. And for our troubles, we get another little video with the little elevator. And we get another hex pattern. Okay, so this one is blue, and the pattern is something like this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, it's blue. Okay. All right, so we wrote that down and we can ride back down now. When I was a kid playing this game, this was the most difficult world for me because you actually have to like pay attention in a very systemic way. And I had a lot of struggles uh, to, of doing to do that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go back here. And then we want to go up, go up. Okay, we actually want to go down this final one. And we're gonna walk along and through this. And then we're gonna go on these hexes. They love they love like these weird kind of hex rocks. These these type of rock things appear in mist, something like this in mist as well. Okay, so right, where is it? There's a gate. There's the gate. Okay. So we're gonna come through this gate. And we have another puzzle. Um, but before we do, there's some more pages, so let's read them. The memories flood over me too fast. They race around inside my head, filling my soul with despair. And the more I think about how nothing can be done, how no one can be alive outside his shield, the faster the fog rushes in. I can lose myself in the fog. When it's thick enough, I can let go and be safe. I can start to forget. But I must not forget. I must remember every lie they told my people. How they manipulated us all to get what they wanted. They told me they had to come to fix my world. They asked me to arrange a meeting with their elders. The books they carried with them showed other worlds, beautiful places where people didn't have to work so hard to survive. They told my people that Atris had written these books, that he'd written Orion, but that he'd made our world unstable. They said he wanted to make us slaves to the tree. They asked me, 
Don't you remember, Saavedro? Our father wrote this world to teach us, to show his sons what an age shouldn't be. I don't know what to say. I don't know how it could be true, but why would they lie? Why would Atris have lied? The worlds they showed us in those books. The elders refuse to believe them. They say we cannot abandon the tree. For thousands of years, we've tended the lattice roots. Without our traditions, we'll die. I don't want us to die. I don't. But Cirrus and Akinar said they said they would come back, Saavedro, just like Atris once said to you as well. He said he would come back, but then he didn't. He didn't. And for that, you'll have to make him pay. Their real world walks, rocks a little. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think they're inspired by those. Like, they love them. So they're in Miss 3 as well, even though um, Cyan didn't make it, Presto did. It, they still, like, it's like homage, you know, to the one of the things that um, the brothers loved in the original Mist. Okay, so here's another puzzle. Here's another puzzle. So we're just going to start it. I'm going to show you what happens. rotates and you can see at the bottom it's like open right like it's open you can see like a little light coming through and it just kind of keeps rotating and then it doesn't work so what you're supposed to do is make the pegs fall through the light at the right time um i don't know how to solve this other than trial and error so i'm just going to show you guys the solution this is the solution this is where you put the pegs um I don't know how you're supposed to do it other than just like keep messing with the pegs until it it does all the things it's supposed to do. Like, I don't, I don't know. Someone that's smarter than me could probably figure it out with just like looking at the puzzle and where the dents and the holes are, but that's not me. So anyway, this is the answer. This is how you do it. Excuse me. So you can see the peg falls through. So you want this peg to fall through at this point so that it gets like sucked back up into that one. And then you want this next peg to fall through immediately so it can suck back through to that one. And there you go. There's the solution. Ball rolls on. Yay. So you can kind of see on this one that the ball like rolls into that middle thing. You couldn't see that as well on some of the other puzzles, but you can really see that on this puzzle. All right, so now we've got a green hex, and he's kind of like this. He's green, okay. Let's go back down. Alright, let's go along here. And what you're going to realize is that if we come up here, oh, oh, we're back at the beginning. Wow, it's a circle. Okay, so these look really familiar, right? These look like the little hexes. So let's put in some of our answers to the puzzles. So it's like this. I think this is one of them. We can cross the bridge. Okay, let's do the next one. So this one was like this, I think. If I wrote it right. One, two. Oh, it's this. Yes. Read my own notes. Okay. And then this last one is these four, and then these three. Okay, and now we too can go inside where the balls have been going. And oh wow, it's more roller coaster for the balls. It's a ball coaster, you guys. All right, so we're gonna go up these stairs. And if we click on this, we can turn this chair around and sit in this weirdo chair. So let's sit in it. Let's do that. Okay, so first we're gonna press this button Let's watch another video from Saavedro. 20 years, Atris. 20 long years alone. 
They tied me to a post. They burned their missed blinking books in front of me. They took everything I had. My wife! My two baby girls! And then, when I finally made it back to Narayan and I saw... It would have been better if I had died. That video really gets me. He's so angry, but he's like so right to be. All right, so we got to look up here. Hardest part of playing a video game is when the game makes you look up. But anyway, you look up. And then you're up here, and you can see some colors. You saw red, yellow, blue as we were riding up. Okay, and we're like hooked in. Okay, and we're in the floaty thing. Oh my gosh. What the hecky. We're in, we're in the floaty guy. We're in the floaty guy that the balls come out of. And, um, and here we go. So here's a puzzle. So we went yellow, blue, then green. Okay. Yellow, blue, then green. So... We've got these four colors that go around here. Um, so we have to put them in the right order. And I'm like, I'm just looking. I think that, yeah. Did I write that down? Yellow, blue, green. Anyway. Um, mm -mm -mm. So we gotta twist this around so that it works. <laughs> Uh, so I think it's like this. Yeah, okay, so you know, you, you start with blue. Yeah, you start with blue, and then it goes around here, then to the yellow, and then it comes through here, and then it goes like this, and green, and then this one. Yeah, this way. Hmm, wait, that's wrong. Yeah, you start here, go down through here, like yellow, and then this way to the green, and then this way. Aha. Okay, then this way to the red. Okay, yes, I think this is right. Okay, you have heard of Ponder the Orb? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready to become the orb? Press the blue, and let's see if we did it right. those balls felt. We are ball.
And here's our symbol for our reward. Coolest fucking cutscene. Coolest fucking cutscene. Alright, so we've taken another one of the blank pages and written the symbol on it. Very cool, and look, here we go! Here's our linking book back to Jananin. Let's go. That is a poorly drawn car. <laughs> Kaneko, I can't wait to show you what these symbols actually are. There's like, there's a whole system to them, it's really cool. There's been hints so far, but I, I want to reveal when the game really reveals it. All right, <laughs> not wrong. You, you're kind of not wrong. I totally see it. I totally see it. You got like the the two wheels, and then it's like bloop bloop. Like it looks kind of like a Flintstones car. It looks kind of like a Flintstones car for real. Okay, let's put this one on the on the thing, and let's let's watch. This what you expected, Atris? When you followed me here, hoping to reclaim relation? Is this classroom what you expected to find? I read your journal, you know. In Tamana, after I found your linking book abandoned outside this observatory, I read all about the Dunning. How you started their world again. Can you really do that, Atris? After everything that's happened to Narayan, could you start their world over again? I don't think so. I think there's too much blood on our hands, too many ghosts. Surely you can't change that with a pen stroke. One more symbol, Atris. Narayan is waiting. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Presto Studio basically came in clearly and said, hey, Atris is the good guy here, but like, not really. He's still putting these people in harm's way with the way that he's writing these books and going and interfering with the natives. It's not good what he's doing, actually. It's just because there's worser ones with Cirrus and Akinar and Gen doesn't mean what Atris is doing is okay. And I do think that Mist 3 takes the opinion that when they write the art, they're not really creating the worlds. They're just creating links to these worlds. They're not, they're not gods of these worlds, which I do agree with that interpretation of how the mist world works. So this is two of the three worlds. Next week, we're going to be playing the third one. And I hope that you enjoy the ending of this as much as I do. So if you're watching the VODs on YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.